Hello, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. I'd like to welcome you to a cardboard coat check episode of our live show. Today we are checking in this box, Minecraft Builders and Biomes by Ravensburger. The thing is, before we can check this in, I got to see what's in here, just to make sure there's nothing wrong. So I am going to take this box, I'm going to open it up. Now, the main thing I do as the Tabletop Bellhop is answer your gaming and game night questions. Obviously, tonight, the question is what's in this box. But if you do have any gaming or game night related questions, please send them to questions at tabletopbellhop.com or head over to the webpage, tabletopbellhop.com, and click on Ask the Bellhop. Also, at tabletopbellhop.com, you can see answers to other people's questions, including an interesting one we answered last night. Um, that's not going to go live till Tuesday, but... Can you, can, will a minotaur snort milk out its nose from laughing? Uh, that was from our AMA. Usually our episodes are a little bit more, uh, less lighthearted. Um, not too serious, though. We talk about, say, games that are great to play when you have a table of gamers that's a mix of experts and new players. That's one of the topics you'll find over there. You'll also find reviews, news, uh, lists of podcasts, lists of other streamers, and things like that. Just go to tabletopbellhop.com, take a look around. All right, we're going to get right to opening this up. So this is the new, hot new game, Minecraft Builders and Biomes from Ravensburger. I'm going to tip the camera down. We're going to get a slightly better shot of this, and you can all see what is going on. All right, we're taking a look at Minecraft Builders and Biomes. This is from Ravensburger. Uh, note, this is open. I did not open it. Um, Ravensburger, that's worth pointing out. I should point that out. Ravensburger themselves sent me a copy of this game for the purposes of reviewing. No other compensation was provided. Um, they did send me their office open copy, their demo copy, but it's not punched. It's not open that way. So I figured it was still worth doing an unboxing video. So this is the copy they had in their office to show people the components. So the stuff may not be in the order it comes in when you get it, but everything will be in here. And like I said, it's unpunched. So you got a definite Minecraft look. And the first thing you notice are a ton of cubes. Cubes in a sealed box. We've got lots of big cubes. These are, um, oh, what's that game? Immotep size cubes. Uh, this is Ziploc, nice, okay. These are chunky cubes, look at those. Nice, chunky gray and white cubes. We also have green, brown, and black. To be honest, I don't play enough Minecraft to know exactly what these might represent. So we have cubes. Those are all wooden cubes. These are wooden cubes painted, uh, not, doesn't seem to be stained. They appear to be painted, not stained. We'll hold one of those up here. Oh, a good amount of weight to them. All right, then we have English instructions. Wow, I'm hoping there's multiple languages in here because that seems like way too thick a rule book. Yeah, we have German on the back. I'm like way too thick a rule book for a game based on a license like Minecraft. Uh, dark text on light background, thank you. Um, this is for two to four players, age 10 plus. In Minecraft's Builders and Biomes, you explore the overworld, collect blocks, and build spectacular structures. Be cunning and brave. Only those who carefully plan their building projects and successfully fight against the dangerous mobs will have a chance to win. I have to say that does sound like they captured the feel of Minecraft. So we're going to flip through this. You're seeing this for the first time, same time I am. Uh, I do apologize for the bit of glare there. An awful lot of text going on there. This text's a little small. I wish it was bigger, especially based on the amount of uh, white space there is there. Looks like there's a decent amount of examples in there. And that's it. Okay, so this is a much simpler game than the last couple I've unboxed. So we are looking at a grand total of six pages. But that's counting. Oh, the cover has rules. So six pages of rules. That's that's not bad. That's it's medium weight for most board games. Not uh, to me, there doesn't seem like there's enough art and examples in there. But that's just that glancing at it. Um, setup looks simpler enough. Then we have plastic baggies. Thumbs up. Gotta say, I always love it when companies give us baggies to put the components in. I am a big proponent of baggies. I do like box inserts now and then, but I am perfectly happy with baggies. What I should have did was toss this upside down. 
out so I have somewhere to put all this stuff. Standy holders. I have to assume that we're going to have cardboard standees to represent our characters, players. All right, then we have a bunch of punch boards in here. Ooh, look at that. Look at the thickness there. That's a lot of punch boards. All right, we'll move this part of the box out of the way. We'll start from the bottom. No, oh, this is... Okay, very, very thin. Some type of scoring track or board. Again, I have not played this game, so I can't tell you much about it. But that is thin. That's... Um, I'm really getting annoyed by these paper thin boards in games anymore. Like just a little bit thicker would be nice. This is something again I would be tempted to laminate. All right, uh, we have a bunch of these. They says zero to fifty. So the different scoreboards. I am guessing that every player is probably going to get their own one of these, and they're going to have their own scoring track. Yeah, there are four of them, so that would make sense. So every player is probably going to get their own one of these. They are all different. Looks like they're representing different terrain types. So four of those, looks like everyone's gonna track their own score individually. Again, I haven't played the game. One of the reasons I like to do these videos live is you're getting my thoughts as they happen. Okay, there's some really thin cardboard going on here. Component quality here, those cubes were nice, but this, that is thin. That is some of the thinnest punch board I have ever seen. Uh, you've got some eggs, some swords. The swords have different heart levels. Of course, you have your wood, your, I don't know. I don't play in a lot of Minecraft. Uh, looks like you're also going to build some kind of structure. So I am going to punch one of these because I want people to see, if I can, just how thin that is. That is some thin card. Like it's it's card stock. It's card. It's it's not bending here. It's not flopping around like those boards are. But that that is disappointingly thin. And then we have biomes that obviously can overlay the other ones. Again, I know nothing about Minecraft, but it looks like you have some portals and different types of buildings. So maybe these are things you can build in each of the areas. That would be my guess. But again, I'm guessing. This is out of the exact same thin card. It's a very thin. You got a creepy spider there. That's something I have seen in Minecraft. The last time I played, that's how I died. Climbed in through a hole in my roof. Uh, you got a castle, bridges. So these are definitely things you can build. I'm looking forward to playing this with Sean who is uh, my podcast co-host. He's the big Minecraft fan. Well, actually, we him and his kids play. So we have a bunch of different creepers. Obviously, the character standees. Again, I'm disappointed. Standees? Like, nowadays, give me... Get not, it doesn't even have to be a miniature. Give me a meeple. Give me something wood. Especially with the blocky shape, it'd be really easy to do something wood like that. So I'm a little disappointed. For a mass market game... I, I would be, I wouldn't be as critical, but this is Ravensburger. Ravensburger makes some solid games. I don't know what this big gray thing is. I have no clue. We have much more on baddies of some sort. All that thin card. Rule summary cards, bonuses there. They're the, the multiple languages, which yay on them for producing multiple languages. Obviously equipment you can get. On your turn, collect two blocks, move zero to two spaces and reveal cards, build a structure, fight mobs, collect weapons. That sounds rather simple. I say, I, I, it looks better than most mass market games, but... Uh, possible end game scoring cards is my guess. They have A and B sides. Or no, they're A, B, and C tiles. It's an awful lot of eggs. Here's the other part of that structure. That I was saying you can build. More summary cards. More things you can build on your train tiles, it looks like. A couple blank cards. Okay, I have to assume these are going to come from a draw deck. Because all of these, yeah, all of these have been that back, correct? Yeah, all, all of these terrain tile things have been that back. So it's got to be some kind of draw pile. So... I'm a little more forgiving than on the thickness if this is something you're going to shuffle and draw from. Because i got to admit, I hate shuffling thick tiles. So if this is something you're shuffling from, and I guess if you've already picked your thumb towards size, thickness, you're stuck with it. Interestingly, the last two are stuck together. All right, and that's it. So a ridiculous number of 3x3 three three, nine tile punch boards that are that are surprisingly thin. But again, if that's going to be a deck you're shuffling, I almost wonder why you wouldn't use cards then. 
You could get square cards printed and print it off as a deck. I guess these would probably last better than cards. So that is Minecraft Builders and Biomes. Bonus baggies, though I don't see what I'd put in these baggies. There weren't a lot of, I guess, all the weapons and stuff. The various weapon tiles. Four page rule book. This will be a quick one. There is a chance. I am not going to promise anything, but we may live stream this tomorrow. For those of you who are watching me live on Twitch, if you join us for a Friday night stream, there's a chance we'll play this. It depends if we get enough extra work done. Extra life work done. That's it. Uh, the majority of this box are these huge cubes. A lot of really thin cardboard. Uh, six page rule book. Looks like Ravensburger made a um, very accessible to the public game for more Minecraft fans than fans of board games, but I haven't played it. Maybe it's amazingly good. Maybe there's some really good stuff going on there. Component quality is slightly disappointing. We're gonna tip back up here. All right, component quality is a little um, less than what I'd like to see. Uh, this does note is for age 10 to 99. I always find that silly when people do that. Why, why put an upper limit? What do you do when you're 100? You can't play Minecraft anymore. That's just sad. I, I would hope at 120, I'd still be playing board games. Uh, two to four players, 30 to 60 minutes. 30 to 60 minutes also alludes well to the lightness of the game. Uh, all right, so the big black thing, I wasn't sure what it is, is where you just stack the cubes. It looks like you might even build things out of that. Uh, it looks like you lay out a grid, interestingly enough. So you're using those tiles to lay out a grid. There may actually be some exploration there. I don't, we'll see. Um, right now, we're just unboxing this. If you want to see the review, head over to tabletopbellhop.com. Check out, um, follow Tabletop Bellhop on social media. I'm Tabletop Bellhop, one word everywhere. Twitter is probably the best place to find out when we've done the review on this. So that was Minecraft Builders and Biomes. Again, for Tabletop Bellhop, I am the Tabletop Bellhop Motuzno, normally answering your gaming and game night questions. Like we just answered the question, what comes in this box? Uh, you can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Head over to the Tabletop Bellhop blog where you can find all kinds of cool gaming stuff like gaming advice, reviews, unboxings, actual play videos, and so on. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit subscribe, follow, like, thumbs up, all those awesome things you can do to tell content creators like me that we're doing a good job. If you really like what we're doing, head over to patreon.com slash Tabletop Bellhop and consider tipping the bellhop. For Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo. Good night and game on.